As a reminder, the stack to pot ratio, or SPR, refers to the relationship between the number of chips in the pot and the remaining effective stack. If there are $100 in the pot and $500 left in the effective stack, then the SPR is 5. In No Limit Hold'em, most bets are between 30 and 150% of the pot. This sizing range is mathematically incentivized so we can get a rough sense of how many more bets are left based on the SPR. Let's take a look at some practical examples. An SPR below 1.5 means the next bet will probably be all in. 2 to 5 SPR means that two more bets are likely before one player is all in. With an SPR greater than 7, it's almost certain that at least three bets will be needed to get stacks in. Just like the case when calculating pot odds, it's important to remember that the SPR is already baked into your EV in a given hand. The EV of drawing to a straight draw on the flop is not going to be the same if your opponent is close to all in, say with an SPR of 1, as it would be if your opponent is still super deep with an SPR, say, of over 5. SPR directly affects our EV because it determines how much or how little can be wagered in the hand. In order to have a sound post-flop game, you must always be thinking about the hands you play in terms of SPR and in terms of how and when more money is likely to be added to the pot. This awareness matters when we are the ones betting and when we're the ones calling. You want to avoid awkward SPR spots if you can. Situations where you better call on one street and it sets you up for difficult decisions on the next, conversely, makes your opponent's decisions easier. For example, when you're bluffing and don't leave enough to bet on the river. Or when you're making a marginal call on the turn when an all-in shove on the river is likely based on the remaining stacks. Considering stack depth and predicting action on later streets is critical to your decision making. Some of this will be very intuitive. If stacks are super deep, you can peel more liberally with hands on the flop. If stacks are shallow and your opponent will have less than a pot size bet on the turn, you should not be calling with low equity hands on the flop. Middle zones can be a lot trickier to navigate. Your job is to recognize these spots before you're in them. Always be looking ahead.